Gagon. Brawl! Cycloid, stand! Hello everyone, my name is Jesse and welcome back to another Bakugan review slash unboxing. Today, you already know by the thumbnail, we have a pretty special one. If you don't know why this one's so special, I will explain once we get further in the video. I am so excited that this package is here. I have been waiting for about two weeks, two-ish weeks. I just can't wait to open it. I feel like a kid on Christmas. Let's go ahead and do it. Where are my scissors? All right, here we go. Got some bubble wrap. Get, get all that. The back of gone itself. Go ahead and, oh, there he is peeking through. <laughs> Glad to know it's actually the right one. Let's see here. Okay. Here we go. Ah! <laughs> Very sweet. I don't even know if I have a card to open this with. What do I have? Oh, I do. I have a uh, Japanese card called Carpus Crypt. Okay, so if you were unaware here, we have a B2 Subterra Cycloid. Let's take a look. Got the magnet guard here, right there. Looks good. A little bit of a scuff here, but not nothing that's like alarming in any way, considering how old this guy is. Subterra symbol. Fantastic. Let's go ahead and open his feet. Do his feet not open? Oh, they're just really stuck. Okay. All right. Ready? Three, two. Oh, I don't. <laughs> I think his feet are blocking it. Ready? Three, two. Oh, ho, ho, ho. wow, look at that, look at that, 400 G's right there, little scuff, let's go ahead and get his horn out, oh, nice, that looks good guys, wow, let's get his feet out, oh wow, so his mag the magnet didn't even pop up there. All right, so I'm going to leave him like this for a second so you guys can take a look at him. Let me explain why this Bakugan is so important, I guess. Rare, hard to find, expensive. Um, so a little background. for This is from the Season 1 Bakugan Battle Brawlers. It is Billy's Guardian Bakugan, which is one of the side characters. Cycloid was kind of Gorum's rival. In the sense of the show, he was kind of important, but you often saw him throughout the entire episode, like all, like through a lot of episodes. So there's nothing super special about that. However, he was very rare in the sense that this toy in particular is hard to get. So from my understanding, a B2 Subterra Cycloid, I can't speak for the B1s, I'm not sure, um, but a B2 Subterra Cycloid is very difficult to find as it was only released in Japan and it was in a like gotcha blind box. So you would buy a box, you didn't know what was in it, and you had a small chance to get a Subterra Cycloid. Uh, this is similar to the B2 Ventus Skyrus. Similar thing, they were in a gotcha kind of blind box. You pulled them out and there was just a random chance you'd get one. Um, I'm trying to find more information on that. Unfortunately, that's about the extent of my knowledge on this. I don't know which is rarer, the B1 or the B2. It does seem that the B2 is rarer, um, just because of that blind box. Uh, the difference between the B1 and the B2 is, well, obviously size, and then the B1 is actually more of an orange color than what uh, you see here, where all of these different accent markings are actually just like a nice like bronze or copper color. Uh, the B1 has more of an orange color there. And so they go online from anywhere from like, you know, $300 to $600. It really just depends on the price you're willing to pay. I personally got mine. It was $210 plus international shipping. Uh, it came out to about $270 total uh, and took about two weeks to get here from Taiwan. So very happy about it. It looks good. Um, this is actually officially the most expensive Bakugan I've ever bought. It beat Made Last Boss by $5, because I spent $205 to buy my Made Last Boss. So, 
Oh, it looks so good. Very rare Bakugan, very expensive. Um, definitely more on the rarer side. You do definitely see them every now and then. Uh, they are very uncommon in America, more common in more Asian countries just because they had access. Uh, but this is the final piece I needed to complete my season one side character collection. So very happy about that, and I will be making a complete video similar to the same style you've seen of the like all Pyrus, all Ventas, all Aquas main character Bakugan. I will be doing an entire side character review, which I think will be pretty interesting, um, at least for season one. Man, he looks good. I've never actually had a Cycloid. Like, even as a kid, I don't believe I had one. So just having one now, like, pretty cool. Uh, dang, I'm not a huge fan of Cycloid in the show, but his model looks good. Like, check out that design, all, like, the different lines and, like, I don't know what's going on there, but that's really cool. Okay, well, let's go ahead and close him up in ball form. So, it's obviously, we got to do the feet here. Okay, so feet are done, and then his horn goes back, and then I'm assuming it's just head, and then, yeah, okay, well, that was easy. Nice. Let's give him a roll. Obviously, we have to roll him. I don't want to touch him too much because he is expensive. Let's give him a roll really quick. Oh, nice. Very cool. <laughs> Let's actually get him up next to Gorum, too. I think that'll be funny. They do look good together, I will admit. Like, that is a combo. That is a combo. Man. Now, it is interesting that this quality seems slightly better. You get that from a lot of the Asian countries. Uh... Particularly, it's probably hard to pull up on camera. Actually, no, you can kind of see it. Uh, the plastic and the bronzing they use, or whatever this is. Like, this looks much lighter to me compared to this. Uh, and that's just a regional thing. But nonetheless, very, very cool. Put Gorm to the side here. Really want to give all the spotlight to Cycloid. And again, you know, I'm not the biggest fan of Cycloid. I thought he was a little weird. Um, but he did have, like, a really good spot in the show. Like, he was a very prominent character for, like, a side character. I'm doing that with air quotes. Because he wasn't necessarily a main character. Like, he wasn't one of the main battle brawlers. But he had such a prominent place in the show alongside, like, Sirenoid and Fortress and Harpus and all that, since it's clear. Uh, yeah. I am super excited to get the rest of the gang out and make a video. Probably gonna do that here soon can't wait to do that but uh yeah guys i hope you enjoyed this video just another addition to the collection uh if you enjoyed this video feel free to leave a like drop a comment and of course subscribe for more awesome content my name is jesse and i will see you in the next video peace out